Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to discuss about the performance metrics part 2 and in this particular video, I am going to cover about ROC and AUC curve. Now, uh, guys, in my previous video about performance metrics, I've already explained you about confusion matrix. I've explained you about recall, precision, true positive rate, false positive rate. Apart from that, F1 score, F beta score and many more things. Now, in this particular video, we'll try to understand about ROC and AUC curve. And remember, guys, uh, ROC AUC curve is mostly used for binary classification problems. Uh, and it is pretty much important that suppose if you are implementing a logistic regression and suppose your model has predicted some probabilities, right? So what is the threshold that you should decide so that by, by default, if I consider logistic regression, it considers anything greater than 0.5, it is going to consider it as one. Anything less than 0.5, it is going to consider it as zero, right? Now, understand one thing is that in each and every use case that you have, this threshold can play a very, very important role. Now, let me just take some examples about it. Suppose you are working in a healthcare domain project and the model that it is predicting, it is very, very critical. You know, it may be a disease patient, it may be something. So at that time, you know, what may happen is that the threshold value that should be kept based on the type of problem statement. Suppose you want higher true positive rate, you want less false positive rate. So based on that, we can actually play with the threshold. And again, a domain expertise person will always be there, will be able to guide you out. But remember guys, you need to show that how your model is actually performing in the form of some graphs. Then only the domain expertise person will be able to help you out. So let us go and try to understand how to construct ROC and AUC curve, what exactly it is. And uh, we'll just be discussing about this in this specific video. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. So let us take an example. Here, I have an output value of my use case, which is Y, okay, which is my actual value, okay? So I have values like 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, okay? And my model is actually predicted a probabilities like 0 0.8, 0 0.96, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. Suppose it has predicted like this. Now, for constructing the ROC and AUC curve, we will be considering some threshold values, okay? So suppose I start with 0, then 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1, right? These are my threshold values, okay? So first off, the thing is that I will try to, suppose if I uh, set up my threshold value as 0, then what will be my y hat, okay? We'll try to understand. So we know that 0 0.8 is greater than 0. So definitely if it is greater than the threshold value, it is going to become 1. So all these values will actually become 1. Now once we have this, right we will try to capture or we will try to calculate the true positive and the false positive rate so suppose if i want to calculate a true positive rate it is nothing but tp divided by tp plus fn right pretty much simple so here how many true positives i have see what is true positives suppose my actual value is one my output predicted value is one these two are true positive so i have one true positive two true positive three true positive and four true positives so total number of four true positives divided by four plus what is this fn false negative basically means that suppose if i have one over here my predicted value is zero right that is actually false negative in this scenario i don't have those scenarios right so this will basically become zero now i have one as my output fine i got my true positive rate and remember for roc we require both true positive and false positive rate because for the construction of graph we'll be actually requiring it now let us go ahead and calculate my false positive rate now my false positive rate basically says false positive divided by false positive plus true negative. Now in this particular scenario, what is false positive? When my output value is zero, my predicted value is one. This is basically false positive. So I have one over here, two over here. So I'm going to write it at two divided by two plus. What about true negative? True negative basically means if your value is zero, the output value is also zero, right? So in this scenario, it is zero. So my total value is one. Now understand one thing. I'm going to construct a graph in the right hand side in the x-axis I have false positive rate over here I have true positive rate this is my 0 comma 0 remember my false positive rate this is 1 this is 1 right now you can understand that when my threshold was 0 I got my true positive rate as 1 false positive rate as 1 for this specific model so if I go and try to point it out it will come somewhere here so this is basically 1 comma 1 right my false positive rate is one my true positive rate is one when my threshold value is zero right note it down now the next thing let me take the next value y hat as 0.2 right so anything greater than 0.2 is going to become one in this case this will become one this will become one 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 this will be zero this will be one because here i have 0.2 only 
okay now if i go and calculate calculate the true positive rate what it will be again how many true positive rate over here i have one over here i have one one two three four so my true positive rate will be one only okay what about my false positive rate now try to understand how many false positive are there only one false positive are there right so my false positive rate will become one divided by one plus what about my true negative now you can see there is a one true negative right so this will become one so one divided by two is nothing but 0.5 so my false positive rate is 0.5 over here my true positive rate is somewhere over here so i'm going to get this value and i'm going to rate it as 0.5 comma 1 for my threshold value 0.2 right now similarly when we start doing these things for all the values we will be getting some kind of graph suppose my third point will be somewhere here and this will be somewhere like uh, 0.5 comma 0.6 for threshold of 0.4 okay we'll be constructing this graph okay then one more point will be coming over here right so here basically my false positive again this will be my for my threshold 0.6 i guess or 0.8 so this kind of graph will get created and finally one point will be here right now this whole thing is basically a roc curve okay now you need to understand what is this auc now when i connect all these points all these dots together all these dots together so when i when i when i, when I connect all these things the curve that comes inside this is basically my AUC curve area under the curve and remember guys the more the area under the curve the better the model is yours right so instead of this well, let me just also draw one line from the center okay and always remember a good model should always be greater than this particular area greater than this particular area it should never be less than this 0.5 okay this particular line that you see right it should always be greater than this because if it is less than this it is basically a dumb model a model which is just random guessing right and if the probability is less than 0.5 i can just write a if cause and write that sometime i can say it as one sometime i can say it as zero so this is basically my auc area under the curve now still we did not decide what threshold value needs to be sure needs to be selected from this particular use case now understand one thing guys if i take this problem statement if i go and take this particular graph and show it to a domain expertise the domain expertise will focus on saying that krish we will be requiring higher true positive rate now suppose if i want to uh, you know get more true positive rate or more true positive from this i can select two values one is this particular value if he says that krish only focus on true positive then i can go and select this particular threshold the threshold of 0.6 because in this scenario you can see that my fpr is zero my false positive rate is completely zero right but suppose he says that krish come on uh, i want high more higher than this true positive rate okay but i don't care about false positive then what will happen is that i'll go and select this particular value in this particular value i am getting one true positive rate but there is some amount of false positive rate but he's saying that i do not care about that right so at that time i can select this threshold value as 0.2 right now suppose he says that krish i i i need to focus on both true positive and false positive i need to see that particular result i can also select this one so it depends on the domain expert person what they are looking at how your model is actually performing and what is the data that you have represented in front of him and remember guys if you are able to explain him in this particular way if you are able to show this particular diagram to him then he'll be able to say okay my model needs to be focused on true positive it should be having less false positive rate so from here i can go and try to find out which will be the threshold value and by that i can select that particular threshold value and based on that i can decide my whole model this is the way how you can actually interpret a roc and auc curve guys auc basically means area under the curve okay so this was all about this particular explanation many of you i know that you are waiting for this performance metrics part two still there is one more part which is part three i need to discuss some more things uh, related to classification metrics uh, which will be pretty much important so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye